Hey, what's up? Toronto Pro here with a quick tutorial on resolving internal web servers. So friend asked me on how they can resolve the IP address to a name inside their LAN. Because inside their LAN, they have internal web servers and they're giving the IP address to their users so that they can access the web app via their browser. As a network admin or a system admin, you don't want to be giving those IP address to those users. So this is what we're going to do right now. We are going to configure our PFSense firewall together with our web server to work together so that we are going to resolve that IP address to a name. Now, not only on web servers, even on host inside your network, you can do this one. Stay tuned and we're going to do that. Let's try to access the server I have already set up for us. The IP address is 10.10.10.250. This is an example of the web app. So if you don't want to be giving this IP address to your users, we need to configure your server first. Minimize this one. Let's go to your PC. Right click on this PC and go to properties. I want us to change this uh, here, the name, computer name or this is what we call the host name of the server. Now, if you're not going to change this one on the Windows machine, you'll have a default something desktop, juju, blah, blah, out here. Uh, you'll have a different name here. So you can click this change settings and then you can change here. You can change the Toroge web app. I've already set up for me. You need to change the computer name or host name. Now, if you have changed that one, the computer will require you to restart the machine. Once you have restarted at one, we're good to go to configure our PFSense. Since this is my server, I want us to switch to another computer so that we are going to try to access this server and configure our PFSense. On Linux machines, you need to know that hostname of that server. I'm already logged into my PFSense, but before we go to the configs of this PFSense, I want us to access that server first. 10.10.250 there you go my web app I can access my web app via the web browser so let's go back to our pfsense and configure this one let's go to system and then general setup as you can see we have the firewall as the host name compared here I'm not using any IP address and the domain we want to use I'm not going to change anything here except for the host name in the domain I'm going to use just make sure you're going to read this one because it says here do not use dot local that's why I used my local the next thing we're going to do is go to services and go on the HTTP server now we're going to scroll down here this is the only thing we are going to do so we can see here it says the HTTP static mappings for this interface we need to get the MAC address of our server here so let's go back to our server and how do we get that one we go for CMD Type in IP config, IP config all. Here is the MAC address 000C2954C691. Let's go back to my PFSense. I've already put it here. We can go and edit this one so that you can see 000C2954C691. And the client identifier, it's up to you what kind, what name would you put and then the IP address that the server is going to use. Now remember, if you are setting up a static mapping here, must be outside the DHCP pool. Now we're going to review that one later, if it is outside the DHCP pool. And then that's it, you're going to save that one. Let's go back to that DHCP server and check if 10.10.10.250 is outside the DHCP pool. This is the range, you can see 10.19 to 245 so 250 is outside the pool because the because this firewall itself will give that IP address to our web server now the next thing we're going to make sure that we are in the same domain is going back to our server we can see here torogipro.mylocal see that torogipro.mylocal so it means that we are on the same domain with our firewall Okay, so this is how we are going to access our server. 
properties, what is the computer name that's Torogi Web App? Since this is my server, I don't want to access it from here. I want to access it from another machine. Let's switch to that, open this one, and then type in HTTP colon Torogi Web App. You can see Torogi Web App there. I've already tried this one earlier, but I changed my local. This one, we change this one. My local. Enter, and then there you go. You have your web app. Remember, this is only accessible inside of your network. It's not going to be accessible outside because you need to buy a registered domain name from outside of your network. If you have any questions, just let me know. And we're going to answer that one. Once again, this is Torogi Pro. If you have any questions, just comment down below. If it's your first time here, consider subscribing, guys. And goodbye.